Well, hello there everyone. How are you guys doing? Not gonna lie, it seems a little bit different than Project Architect, doesn't it? Yeah, we, yeah, and that's because we are trying out, just giving a little bit of a check to Vault Hunters, yes. Uh, all of this that you guys are seeing already, like the house, the armor, the villagers, that was basically all the non-stream. So if you guys want to give it a go, you can always go down into my stream. It's always in the link down below. So you guys can go in and give it a check if you want to. I usually play other things more than Minecraft, but I think I'll be giving it a go at this mod pack over there as well. And to start off with, uh, this mod pack, it's, it's, it's a little bit tricky because it doesn't start until you end the game. And what could I possibly mean by that? Well, that's basically in order for me to actually start playing with a mod, which is this thing, uh, the vault altar and the vaults, I need purple blocks. And of course, these are normally accessible in the nether, or sorry, in the end. And to get to the end, we gotta kill the dragon. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm starting off really strong already on full diamond armor though, like protection four or projectile protection four, fire protection and breaking, and breaking three, and projectile protection three. This is all been given to me by our trusty, trustfully villager. And yeah, these dudes over here, look. We have the farmers. These guys were basically the ones I used to get like a lot of emeralds we have the toolsmith this guy gives me the my pickaxes basically because our this is the second one by the way uh because we need the diamonds uh and this guy gives me yeah the amazing axe which <laughs> this is so good not even gonna lie and where is it yeah it's this one this guy gives me the full diamond armor so like it's, it's just that easy you know the villagers are really really broken uh there's also this guy uh i traded a little bit just to see what he was gonna give me i'm still trying to figure out this is from immersive engineering one of the mods but most of the mods in the pack are locked behind me actually starting with the proper mod with the vault mod for example one of the mods that i really enjoy is mechanism and if we take a look at like some of the things that we have from mechanism like you might find things that you have like normal like recipes but then if you try and find like for example one of these machines it looks normal it looks normal until we reach one of the basic things and you can see you need a black opal and a perfect eudidide and all these things basically they come from the vault mod and that's the main idea here is that you have to go into vaults which are basically randomly generated dungeons uh where you go in you basically have to go through a lot of mobs explore it find loot progress through that there's bosses and all those things but it gets exponentially harder you know uh, especially if you have harder difficulties on some on some some of the vaults uh and then you, like your health doesn't regenerate and there's whole crazy types of things going on there's a whole crazy bunch of loot and that seems like a lot of fun you can see there's a whole bunch of items here there's a whole bunch of charms there's like ways for you to craft weapons and armor so this is hopefully going to be really fun and i think the vault experience is going to be pretty good if i'm not going to make a series out of this i'm not sure yet let's see how people like react to this first video but if i don't make a series on youtube i'll at least be playing this on stream so like I said, stream is down below. Go ahead and give it a follow. But first, let's start off good. We need to kill the dragon. Yeah, you know, gotta kill it. I already went ahead and located the portal. You can see it's over there. Uh, it, took, it took like uh, all my ender pearls. Uh, and I'm still left with nine, though these nine are exactly what I need to open the portal. So that's pretty good. But we now need to get ourselves an enchantment table. Like I'm still organizing like from the stream. So my items, you can see they're all over the place still. Uh, but I have most of the things that I need like already, I think. 
Uh, I have like a really good amount of diamonds to, to have since I already have basically all the armor all the armor and the only thing I'm really missing is a sword but I'm pretty sure this guy sells me a sword yeah it's a sharp one sword doesn't really matter if I upgrade this guy maybe he he will give me a better weapon guess we'll see okay but just actually just before we we move a little bit with this like forward to try and kill the dragon today uh let me explain a little bit about the mod basically like i said you go to the vaults there's like a dungeon type thing and then you can progress through it you find stuff all that thing but you actually have a leveling system but like imbued to the mod like you can see that i have a full diamond armor but i don't have the full protection down below well, that's because diamond armor is okay. And that's one of the reasons why I went straight for it. Because this is not the best armor in this game. And it's definitely gonna get old pretty soon, I'm guessing. But to be able to deal with some of the mobs, there's a bunch of leveling systems and all those things that you have. Like, there's a bunch of things. And this may seem like a lot, but there's a website, but you can just try things out over there and just see what everything does. Like I can see what this, I can see what this does and see what this does, see what this does. Like it basically helps you understand a little bit more about how this thing works. And there's also like some points over here that you can have. And there's even these ones because these ones are the things that will allow you to actually unlock some of the mods. Like you can see I, I can unlock create. I can unlock mechanism, thermal expansion. Like I properly have to unlock the mods. And that's going to be very, very tricky. Uh, like the more chest, pipes, drawers, everything is locked. And I'm pretty sure the first one I'm gonna go for is the easy villagers one. Just because it's gonna just give me a ton of things. Um, but when you start the game, you have five different points. And I spent those points by leveling up my vein miner over here. Uh, it, cost my, it cost me three points. One for level one, one for level two, and one for level three. As you can see over there. And I also gave myself the ability to twerk <laughs> yes this one uh which allows me to basically bone meal crops and this is insanely strong like insanely strong it's very very good and as the last the last point i chose speed uh which basically allows me to just completely bleased like <laughs> just go from one place to another pretty fast because we have always have haste one uh i mean it's not haste two but it's at least haste one uh so let me show you how i got my hands on all this armor basically i traded with the villagers but i needed a lot of emeralds and the way i got tons of emeralds is because since i chose the twerk option uh this one the twerking if i shift i bone meal everything around me if I right click with the hoe, you can basically see how this got crazy really, really fast. Like, I don't even need to do anything. I'm just collecting potatoes. And if you check the minimap, there's a lot of red dots around me. Those are drop items. And yeah, that's, that's a lot of potatoes. And this is how basically I've been getting all my emeralds. Just sitting here doing this. And imagine if I had fortune on this hoe. Like, if I had fortune, that, that this would be a whole lot more potatoes. I'll probably just crash my game with how many potatoes I get. But yeah, as you can see, just from that little bit talking while we're doing this, we have pretty much a full inventory, or two rows full of potatoes. And I don't need the poisonous potatoes, though I think they can be used later down the line, but I'm, I'll probably just do, make a farm for, the, for potatoes down the line, so I don't even care. And basically you just grab your potatoes or your carrots or your wheat and you just come over here and trade I personally I like potatoes I'm not Russian but I like potatoes uh, <laughs> just because they can be cooked if you don't want to trade them then they they're actually a pretty decent food source so if I ever need to like actually have a food source I have a ton of potatoes over here just sitting down I trade with these two I have 
also a small villager breeder over here which i can also trade with them i have a cleric this cleric basically gave me my ender pearls over here this guy was <laughs> pretty clutch uh not gonna lie and then i'm just still trying to level up these guys to the maximum and of course getting as many emeralds as i can and this guy sells me a cake so i may want to have a cake this guy still needs to be leveled up and these guys were scared and they spawned in the golem and i guess he's doing okay uh it took quite a bit of damage but it's still fine so just just to show you over here something real quick you can see the nether fortress over there which is pretty close to my spawn like that's kind of really lucky for me uh but what i'm here to show you is the other ability i have because i chose vein miner as well and the reason i chose that is because if i hit my g key and i mine you can see i just dug a whole lot of blocks in a just in a single swipe basically and this is very good to mine and very good to just collect tons and tons of ores as you can see i just hit that and boom all this quartz just mined up so this is definitely one of the best things you should definitely start with vein miner and the twerking so with all of that out of the way it's time that the dragon dies and i got like a little bit of every strategy uh <laughs> i brought in some blocks i got like some arrows i got the bed so we can do a lot of damage to the dragon so hopefully we can be safe here uh, we also have like the, some golden carrots that I traded for. Uh, we are on the island. Okay, that's that's kind of nice. Uh, my pickaxe is nearly dead. Hopefully it's enough. I really hope it is enough. And here we go. Now I'm not even gonna waste any time. I'm. I know exactly what I have to do. First of all, place some water. Just get on block and i'm just straight up gonna go to the towers I'm not even gonna joke around uh because i know how strong dragon can be i know what i have to do and i just jump down pick up the water and move on to the next now when he comes out of that middle he usually flies into you if he is looking at you yeah and as you can see he wasn't looking at me so he kind of like took a detour and that makes him not hit me so that basically means we're decently safe so i'm gonna move to an opposite tower of his because i don't want to use arrows to destroy these pillars uh i only want to be using my fists basically uh because i want to use the arrows because my bow is power four I have 11 arrows that may help me but i really 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 want to get rid of these pedestals so he doesn't heal he's super close to me and this tower is huge yo oh okay okay i'm gonna use an arrow here i'm gonna dodge this perfect this is gonna be intense yeah, that one is scary but i think yeah it kind of yeah it's kind of floating there that, that one's lucky okay can we do a lot of damage to him now maybe uh okay that's that's yeah that's badly placed uh why though what's wrong with that placement i'm not sure I think I can hit his butt. I can't hit his butt. Can I hit his neck? I can hit him from here. We don't have the best sword. It's doing very loud noises. Uh, okay, we're good. Or we're not good. We're not good. We have Enderman on our on our on us. Okay, we are not okay. Who's on me? Two dudes on me. So what I'm gonna do real quick. No, I need that. Yep, I need that. I need the water bucket. As soon as he shoots me, I need to pick up my water because he can destroy it, and I don't want him destroying my things. Yeah, that's bad. 
Woo, that was very, very close. Very, very close. And it keeps shooting at me. So I gotta keep moving. I got two Endermen behind me. I think I'm gonna hide back here. What? My water bucket! Alright, alright, alright. Be right back. Okay, just gonna go run straight to my body, which I don't understand why the water didn't spread and why I still have a water bucket. Oh my god. That, that's annoying, man. That's annoying. And he's still regenerating health. I thought like I could kill him with a the bed there, but the bed's not properly working because I need to put it like like here. I don't know, I'm gonna do something like that over there. And I still gotta clean these three towers, I think. Man, I swear, they really buffed this guy. Like, I can barely use the beds. I used one and he just flung me to the sky. Luckily, I, I, I used the bucket, but you can see that I already died a second time because he flew me just off the pillar there. I brought arrows, but they're, they're still not cutting it, man. Like, I swear. I don't know what else to do. Like, if I go here, then it just goes away. I can't even go and hit him. That dude does not want to die, and I don't like it. I guess I'm used to it being easy. I don't know. But I really feel like they bumped something up here. I am on my last eight arrows, and this is... Super clutch, because he keeps just fire, and I missed one, of course. He keeps just firing balls at me, like he doesn't even move. He's just firing stuff at me. Hopefully I can hit him as soon as he leaves this. One more. No, how did that not hit? I have three arrows. Come on, come to me. Come to Papa. You're being a pain in my ass right now, come on. Come on, over here, and boom, there we go, there we freaking go, Jesus Christ, man, this is from the Mercy of Engineering, yeah, it is, Woo. uh, XP, yes, because I really need this experience, ah, 68, so that's so good, because now I can actually enchant the good stuff, and I still have some pearls, so I really quick want to go and grab purple and this this egg, which it's here. Yeah, I really want to go grab some chorus plants, so we do some purple blocks. I'm gonna craft them. I'm not even gonna go for a light right away. Grab the egg, boom, just that easy, and hopefully we have enough blocks to make it uh we do have an ender pearls in case we're like a little bit far away from land uh we, yeah we can just pillar up here real quick and boom forest plants and i also got wait oh there you go some flowers perfect now we have everything we needed we can we can just go back home basically Okay, and just to wrap up the episode, we have the vault altar made. So this is basically what we need to start off the pack. This is gonna go straight in there. This can go into the corner. But this thing actually needs to be triggered, and it also needs a vault rock. I got one from mining, so that's that was pretty lucky. Uh, we're gonna use a button, I think. Yeah, we're gonna use a button. And let's see. Oh, okay. So we need 15 iron, one, <laughs> one shell, 41 gravel, and 27 lilies. I think this is the, the lilies. Okay, this one we can farm. This one we have. This one we should easily get as well. So you can get like the 15. The way you do this is basically just grab on the items. And I think you can just toss them. Yeah, there you go. Just toss them into here and completely completes this. And this is going to be the hardest, I think. The Nautilus shell. 
But, you know, we're going to do that on the next episode because we're going to challenge this vault on next episode as well. I also need to go back to the end or to the nether, I should say, to grab myself some blackstone because I don't yet have that and we're going to be needing that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, it, enjoyed this video. Tell me down below in the comments if you really want me to do a series on this or not. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see ya.